The Wood Shop is sponsored by Chefware Kits with hundreds of items for wood turners. All right, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a cake platter and I'm going to do an off center column in the center. I have a six and a half and an 11 and a half half inch disc of myrtle wood so I'm going to use that. I have a friend she does cake decorating and uh, she makes beautiful stuff so I'm going to make her a stand and I thought a little off center column would be great and I will put a link to her channel too she does some beautiful stuff. All right let's go ahead and get started. All right I'm just going to start with the six inch one here and decide which one I want the top to be. Basically, I'm just going to cut this out and for the base. Get a more even cut. I'm just going to sand this real quick and then uh, spin it around. Put a little bit of wax on it. Uh, it's just uh, beeswax. All right, I'm gonna do the top now. I'm gonna leave about an inch and a half uh, flat spot right here for the column. Um, believe it or not, cake's actually weigh quite a bit, so the column can't be, be real thin. It needs to be kinda, kinda beefy to support the weight. So I'm just gonna leave about an inch and a half there and then just shape it around the side here. There we go and I just put that little cove there because I'm gonna do when I do the top one I'm gonna put a little cove so it looks like a uh, like a plate on top and it's cupped out a little bit so that's the only reason I put that in there and then the stem will go in there hopefully that'll look good this one will be facing up and the top one will be facing down all right there we go and the top and bottom done here and I put that little little cove there and there so when it goes together it'll look like that I just just cup this out just a little bit because she's gonna set a set a cake on there and you want it still to be pretty flat but but just uh, just a little bit of a lip on it so okay so let's do some off-center turning all right I just have a piece of walnut here I trued it up it was two inches by two inches and five and a half inches long put a tenon down on one end and went ahead and marked center and then went off a half an inch on each side I'm gonna use the tail stock because I'm not gonna bring this down um, real thin like the goblet where a little bit of pressure pushing from the tailstock would break it. I did a little test on that. So this is gonna be pretty thick because it's gonna have to support the cake which um, they actually weigh quite a bit. So, And I'm just gonna start down here and I can't put the, the little tenon that's gonna go inside the plate on it yet until the very end 
because I need those holes there. Sand that. Alright, just sanded that and put some wax on it and have it centered back up and I'm just going to keep working my way down.
All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and bring down these two little tenons to fit the plates. There we go. I will get these sized down a little bit. I think they're still a little bit big, but I didn't want to push it on that one. So I'll get those trimmed up and then get the plate plates put in. All right, there we go. I have it all glued together. And I'll, I'll put some pictures up at the end of the video. But I think next time if I do another one, I'm, I'm not gonna drill the hole all the way through. I, I think it'd look better clean. I know there's gonna be a cake on it and you're not gonna see it, but still, I think I would, uh, just do a recess and expand the jaws but there you go Liz I will put it in the mail and uh, trade you a cake or something for it but as always thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe <music>